Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today uh, we are going to continue the journey in learning discovery and we are going to focus on the oscillators part of the synth. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are in Ableton Live, we are going to file, new live set. We're going to not save, so we start fresh. We click on the first MIDI track. And if you haven't opened it, select plugins and then VST free in this case, this could just be and discovery double click. Now we have the interface, but uh, uh, sorry, the interface open, the UI open, but if we press on keys on a MIDI controller, of course I have one attached uh, to my MacBook, you will not hear any sound and that's because I need to have a monitor on and then I can reopen the UI. Perfect. Next, I want to choose, uh, well, start with a blank preset and initialize preset. So a nice way to do that is to go to for, to a bank, like so, the second one, where I know that there are some memories which are not filled in. Like in this case, number one, 100 is free. And in this case, I have a initialized preset. Okay, let's focus on the oscillator. So we have two oscillators, oscillator number one here on the left and oscillator number two here on the right. So let's... Um, uh, focus on oscillator number one and uh, let's make sure that the mix here is on oscillator number one so i can hear only oscillator number one here for that show tooth there of course if i was to move it right to the other side i will hear that triangle waveform which is currently selected for oscillator number two Okay, let's focus on two oscillator number one. Okay, so this is the saw tooth waveform. Clicking on this button, you can change it. Triangle. Same way. Square. And the next one allows you to use this control down here to do pulse wave modulation. Okay, and this will work also for oscillator number two. It says here, pulse wave oscillator one plus two. Okay, so let's go to oscillator number two. And uh, you have the similar waveform here, but additionally you have noise as well. Okay, interesting. Now let's reset these to something like the triangle and we have um, why not the sound wave here let's go and select again to hear only oscillator number one we can do frequency modulation using this dial in this case we'll use oscillator number two frequency to change oscillator number one And it's quite nice because you can use these with an, L an LFO. So for example, let's choose this LFO one. Let's uh, increase the amount gently and select as a destination FM only and then triangle as a waveform. Okay, so you can do frequency modulation using this dial. Okay, really nice. And pay uh, attention here to the display because it shows you what is happening when you change the different controls. Okay, so let's move to oscillator number two. We have this triangle waveform. Of course, we can change also the semitones here. And we can also fine tune here. Okay, and then here you have a mode. So you click on it and you go in sync mode. In sync mode, practically you get um, to use uh, um, oscillator one to effectively resync oscillator number two, which um, is quite nice. So, and uh, you use this dial here, the semitone, to actually impact the harmonic content of the wave uh, form that will change the pitch of oscillator number two. Okay, so hopefully that. Um, um, that makes sense. 
Okay, so let's try it. So effectively, oscillator number two phase, or the phase of the oscillator number two, is reset every time the oscillator number one completes a cycle. That is your sync mode. Of course, you can also have the ring modulation. And in this case, the output of oscillator number one is uh, multiplied to the output of oscillator number two. And in this mode, what is interesting is, let's reset this down to zero, is that you can use this FM dial to actually change the... Um, the pitch tune of oscillator number one. So that is really nice. Let's try. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on oscillators for discovery. And as always, see you next time. Bye.